Chicken watching is one of my favorite things to do, and I'm sure it's probably yours too, or you wouldn't click on this video. They devoured that leftover soup with rice like <laughs> so fast. So I want to tell you a short story of how our family came to have the Brahma chicken. You see this beautiful rooster here. His father's name was Percy. And I purchased his father on a whim with Rambo. They were actually sold to me as a couple, a rooster and a hen. Little did I know that the Brahma roosters looked the way they do without a very large crest, but still very large in size. So when those two roosters came to our home, I was convinced that Rambo was the only rooster because at the time, he was the only one that was singing. And he was our first rooster, my first rooster ever. I was quite excited to see him and he sang so beautifully and so loud and it was wonderful and he is still to this day such a good rooster with his hens and the other rooster which I thought was a hen we named him Percy and Percy didn't crow and would hang around with Rambo everywhere he went and so <clears throat> Seniso's father Percy we really were convinced that it was a hen until he started to crow. <laughs> and when he started to crow, I researched about Brahma chickens. And what I read had said that maybe a hen could crow. Maybe a hen could crow, especially if it was trying to show some form of dominance. And so there began my attempt to silence Percy. I locked Percy. I'm sorry, I have a whole bunch of parrots flying. <laughs> I locked Percy in our workshop for a couple days by himself. And every day he would crow. Every day he would crow. And I was like, this is not working. This, this hen is determined to crow like a rooster. And so after like three days, I let him out. And I was like, okay, Percy, maybe he'll calm down outside. And I let him out and then I noticed he decided to get on top of a hen. In Spanish, we say pisar, like to step on a hen is when the roosters fertilize the hen. So when he started getting on top of the hens, I knew something was up because I had never seen um, a hen do that to another hen. And I thought very carefully, like, hmm, did Rambo ever try to get on top of Percy? And then I did a Google Lens search of this beautiful face. <laughs> of, well, this is Seniso, but his father's face was very similar. I did a Google search when, lo and behold, the Brahma rooster appeared in the Google search. And I was like, no way. I bought two roosters and in fact I did and so then I found out very quickly that I needed a Brahma hen because I had two roosters. One is what we know or uh, what we call here in Colombia as a criollo which is just like a mixed race rooster and uh, the other one was a Brahma. So. I wanted more beautiful little Brahma hens, like Luna and Belle here. And so I decided I needed to bring to the farm a Brahma hen. And I was able to find Fiona from a city not too far from here called Medellin. First, I looked everywhere here in Pereira for a Brahma hen, but chicken farming wasn't and still isn't that popular. So I got Fiona from Medellin because, like I said, here in Pereira, because here in Pereira, 
like I said, it's just chicken farming is still really not mainstream. People are just kind of like, yeah, I've got chickens, but if you ask them the race, they don't know. <laughs> and my husband was very adamant that if we're going to have a chicken farm, why not have beautiful exotic chickens? And that's what we decided to do. And that's how we began farming our Brahma chickens and also mixed breeding them, as you can see with this beautiful rooster here. Plata is his name. He is the son of Michon. And Michon, I can rest in peace, my favorite rooster. And Plata is very beautiful and he's a nice mixed breed. He's got a tufted top. And then we've got the Brahmas. I'm like, look at this beautiful Brahma cockerel. He's just gonna look so handsome, just like Percy. And that is how <laughs> we started our Brahma chicken farm, which to this day, what we've got four hens and three roosters. Oh, I'm sorry, five hens, because we've got a beautiful pullet growing full Brahmas and, um, and three roosters. And in the incubator, I've got another six eggs. So we'll see how this Brahma, this Brahma farming goes about. Thanks for watching the chickens, listening to the story, and as always, following. Thanks for your support. Thank you for watching our video.